second, hold on. This is that was pretty good. You did a great job. Dude, after that shit, that was great. Feet, Forty. That was amazing. Listen, yeah. I have never seen a guy do that at your age. At 71 years old, he caught that shit. Make some fucking noise. He's doing a great job. I'm gonna be totally fucking honest with you though. Uh, we're gonna end that song one more fucking time. And uh, this time, you guys need to do a little fucking better than that, okay? We are getting paid a lot of fucking money by Stone Fucking Sour, okay? We're getting paid to warm this fucking crowd up, dude, okay? And it's my fucking mission to make this fucking crowd warmed up. And Corey Taylor said, if we do a good job tonight, we get a fucking extra fucking six pack of Diet Coke backstage. It's a big fucking deal. Sticks! So hold on, we're gonna make it! Hold on! Hold the fuck on, old man! Hold the fuck on, old man! Hold the fuck on, old man. God damn you to hell! Listen, we're gonna end it one more time, and this time, everybody's gonna fucking make some noise. You with that hat on, make some fucking noise. You, you hot little bitch, make out with your boyfriend. You, show your goddamn titties. Let's do it. If I drop this mic, this is Corey Sparrow, he'd be fucking pissed. He would be fucked. Oh my god, that was way fucking better, and fucking great job making out, great job showing your titties. Oh shit, I didn't realize that was a guy. <laughs> sir, you have great fucking tits. You should shave the nipples. Shave the nipples, sir. If you've never seen it, how many people have ever seen Steel Panther before? Raise your fucking hands. Well, I got great fucking news. Our brand new fucking record, it's called Lower the Bar. I just found out before we came on stage. Our brand new record has sold over 300 copies worldwide. It's a big deal. We're blowing the fuck up. This is a fucking honor to be playing here. I can't believe we're fucking back in fucking Pennsylvania. My, let me tell you something, dude. My family's from Pennsylvania. As a matter of fact, my grandma lives right down the street from here. I used to come out, shut up, bitch, I'm talking right now. <laughs> Jesus. Don't make me go Chris Brown on your ass, all right? Uh, he may go Ray Rice on you, too. Jesus, I don't even know who Ray Rice is. It sounds sexy, though. I'll tell you what, though, dude. My grandma lives right down the street. I used to come out here every fucking Christmas and every Thanksgiving, and my grandma would cook crystal meth for the whole fucking family. And speak up. We would all get high. I don't even remember Thanksgivings. I'll tell you what, dude, right now I want to introduce you to one of the greatest heavy metal lead singers in the world. Thank you. Unfortunately, Corey is still backstage, so I'm going to introduce you to our singer, a guy I hired back in 1981 when he was only 35 years old. Still to this day, working for only $120 a week. But I'll tell you what, I know if you just walked in and you're standing at the back door, you're probably thinking to yourself, holy shit, Brett Michaels has put on some weight. <laughs> but this guy right here gets more fucking pussy in one week than Brett Michaels got in the entire fucking career in the 80s, okay? That's bullshit. He's been around for a lot. It's not bullshit. If you add it up by weight, that's true. <laughs> Let me tell you something, this guy had his first threesome when he was only nine years old, people. It was with his Aunt Shelly and his Uncle Ron. I know, I know what you're thinking. That's fucking hot. Make some noise for Mr. Michael Starr! Thank you, that was a great introduction. Thank you. You make me feel so good when you fucking call me a fat fucking Brent Michaels. Hey, hey, bro. I'm just repeating what I see on my Twitter feed. I'm not a fat Brent Michaels, I'm a skinny version of Vince Neil, so fuck you. Hey, 
You know what, team? You're lucky because you still could gain another 30 pounds and be a skinny version of Vince Neil. That's cool. Because I don't know about you, but I like fucking pizza. How many people like pizza? Put your fucking hands up. And I don't know about you, but I like pussy. Put your hands up if you like pussy. And every now and then, when I get aches and pains, I like to take pills. How many people like to take subscription pills? <laughs> subscription? Yeah, it's when you subscribe to them and they send them right to your house. That's you know, like, awesome. awesome. You don't even need one. You just crush them up, snort them, turn on porn up, and jack off all night. That's heavy yeah. fucking metal. That's heavy metal. Hey, I did notice we do have some young kids here. And in case, it, let me, if you're a parent and you brought your kids to see Steel Panther, I just want to say right now, uh, that is fucking awesome! Yes. Listen, there was a kid here like just two weeks ago at our show, and he was in the third grade, and he saw us, and the next day, he went to school, and he fucked his teacher! Wow. I know some people freak out about that stuff, but let me tell you something, sexual education is very important at a young age. Yes. Speaking of guys who have taught a lot of girls how to suck dick, including my Aunt Shelly, I'm the guitar, make some noise for Satchel! Awesome, dude. I fucking love this town. It's fucking, I love it, dude. Like I told you, I got family. As a matter of fact, my fucking uncle, uh, he has a fucking tow truck company. It's been here for about 40 years. It's called Camel Towing. You've probably seen it. If you've ever been stuck inside of uh, This is fucking awesome, dude. We've done a lot of fucking gigs, and it's so weird how this all works out. If you've never seen us, uh, this feels like a normal gig to me. All the super duper hot chicks are right in front of me. All the gay guys are in front of our bass player again. <laughs> And all the fat chicks in front of the sand. Yeah. Fat uh, chicks suck the best dick, though, you know it. Oh, yeah, you put a little peanut butter on your balls. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to the foxiest fucking bass player in heavy fucking metal. Okay? As a matter of fact, this guy is becoming so fucking popular, they're actually doing a documentary about him as we speak. It's coming out in September of 2025. It's called Fifty Shades of Gay. It's not gonna, they can't call it, it's not gonna call it. I know what you're thinking, it looks more like 200 shades to me. Uh, on the fucking bass guitar, make some fucking noise for Mr. Nexi Fox. Thank you, They're very expensive, dude, okay? Heavy metal is not cheap. These fucking spandex, 2500 fucking dollars. Wow. Custom made, this guitar, over $190. <laughs> Custom made. So it's what's important to you, bro. Fuck yeah, dude, heavy metal rules, dude. Those rules, show some of your stuff up, Michael. That's a oh, badass that's a fucking... I don't know if you saw us here last time we played, but these are the same pants I wore. And you know what's next? Fucking wash them since. Yeah! Awesome. Make some fucking noise for the best fucking drummer in our band right now! <laughs> Mr. Sticks, sit in ya! Sticks, what's your real name? Sticks! Sancho, what's Sticks' real name? Sticks! Lexi, what's Sticks' last name? Sit in ya! Sticks come for venereal disease, brother. <laughs> <laughs> 